Hello, my name is Gary Stone and I've got a lovely place to show you today. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, big yard, electric fence, um, borehole, swimming pool, potential flat, man it's got it all. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see it's got an electrified double garage door. There is parking um, in the front yard for possibly four cars on the outside before this garage door. And um, it's got another entrance with a, for a caravan as well. But as we go in, you can see there's space here for at least four cars, if not more. There's a boat standing here, and then we've got potential flat there. And if you look across this way, you'll see there's a koi, a koi dam. Now the koi's in this dam value over 100,000 Rand. So that's included in the price. So if you like koi fish, um, this is ideal for you and then I've come in through the garage but there's a, a pedestrian gate and we go through to the front door this way okay so at the front door we've got um, we've got a safety gate and we've got a solid wooden door but what I can mention is there's a water tank here with 700 liters of emergency water that powers the house and uh, it's nice for those times when there's water problems. So as we go in then, you can see the solid wooden door. We come into an entrance foyer. And there's a lounge with a fireplace. With a chimney, slate floors. There's an air conditioner over there up against the wall. So we've got a little stoop here, which has been turned into a play area. And then over here, which is also the front of the house, there's a caravan carport. Um, so it's got a street front, it's easy for you to get your caravan in and out. And then what we've got here is we've got another dam with also for koi fish or whatever you'd like to put in it with this little fountain. And um, if you look, yeah, you can see it's a well-established front garden. The back garden is also well-established. The front garden is actually low maintenance, but the reason I wanted to show you here is there where that frog is. It's on top of the borehole. So you can see it's actually very serene. It's fully enclosed here in the front. Very pretty. And then you've got this walkway and it goes all the way around the house. Got all these lovely cycads here. There's a geyser on the outside and, uh, and you've got a gate at the back there that goes into the backyard, which I'll show you just now. Okay, so now we come back into the play area which is basically a roofed-in area which has got a burglar bar fence all around. So any grandchildren or whatever that are too small to go outside, nice safe area for them to play. And we go back into the lounge. So you can see it's got a high roof, ceiling fan, There's an alarm system, there's an eye that I can see. Come back here to where the front door is. And we go further down the passage. So the first room, uh, next room that we get to is the dining room. You can see it's neatly tiled. Um, there's a lot of lights coming in from outside. But it's quite spacious, it's got no normal ceilings with a ceiling fan. If you look through the dining room now, across the passage you see a serving hatch going into the kitchen. So we'll go to the kitchen. So you can see solid wooden cupboards. Oak cupboards I think it looks like to me. There's a gas oven 
and there's a gas hob. So it's completely off the grid. The other thing that I haven't mentioned, which I can show you later, which I will show you later, is that there are solar panels that that feed full batteries and apparently you can run for seven hours without any problems. And uh, and then you've got this little extra area to your kitchen which can double up for a scullery. There is an outside laundry and yes then yes then the outside kitchen door which we're not gonna go through at this stage. You can see place for a double door fridge and uh, there's a big chopping block in the middle of the kitchen, yeah. So, first bedroom, north facing, nice and spacious, laminated wooden flooring, built-in cupboards, and it has a ceiling fan as well. So, um, see the flooring very nice dark flooring it's not a light color it really looks pretty there are there is an eye in this room as well so <coughs> next bedroom also north facing you can see how spacious the room is in terms of size it's hard for me to say maybe I should pace it but you can see how the single bed stands in the one side of the, the room and uh, so there's a lot of space. Also got its built-in cupboards. This one doesn't have a, a, a ceiling fan. It's just got an ordinary light. But it's also got an alarm eye. Then we've got two bathrooms here one with this old Victorian bath uh, with these little feet with its own toilet and basin very nice little bathroom and then this is also a shower with a toilet and a basin so two bathrooms so far and then we've got this bedroom which is the third bedroom also north facing. Now this was the original main or master bedroom of the house before they built on and they built on quite a while ago but you can see the space here look at the double cupboards um, there's a double bed standing in the room here and there is space plenty. Okay then this used to be like say a fourth bedroom which is now walk-in closet or changing room to the master bedroom. It could also be a, a flatlet. You could you could close the house. You could close that door in the house and have three bedrooms, two bathrooms that side. And then this is part of the this is part of the flat. But alternatively, this is the the dressing room for the bedroom. And uh, we go through to the bedroom here. So you can see this is a really big bedroom it's got those built-in cupboards so you don't need those other cupboards um, you could even put in a drywall and make it a study or, or whatever and then this room this room has its own private lounge so it's got it's got three sides it's got windows west east and north um, so this private lounge is ideal it's got an air conditioner in and uh, and it goes through to the main bedroom. So it's either a flat lit without a kitchen, which a person could put into that little room area, or otherwise it's a fantastic private lounge. This has just got ordinary ceilings and um, no ceiling fans or anything. And yeah, we've got our ensuite, which has got a, a very big shower as well as a toilet and a basin. So what's nice is it has an outside door and we can go straight out here into the backyard. Now the dogs were playing with me just now, I don't know what's happened to them but maybe the owner has moved them a bit. But let's first then while we've got the opportunity, no dogs, you can see the larpa and the pool area and 
Look how deep the yard still goes. Um, it's actually a, a, a big yard and it's in a very, very good condition. Well manicured, well looked after. Um, and it can give the new owner a lot of pleasure. There's two Wendy's on the, on the corner there of the stand. And then you can see from the back here. Uh, there's a vegetable garden that's in a net on the right hand side and then there's another two Wendy's beyond that. Um, so there's four Wendy's on this property. Ah, there comes the dogs. I thought, thought, I, was, I, was, thought I was lucky. But I was lucky for a while. Friendly dogs. Okay, now I'm going to show you the laundry and uh, the back end of the property. Okay, so we go back through this gate and this laundry room is the original servant's quarters that is now completely a, a laundry room um, and can easily become part of the flat as, as I've mentioned earlier and over here we've got an outside toilet and a, and, a, and a shower and there's a geezer up there so there's the gas connection and there's the kitchen door so we go through the side into the carport area So yeah, I am in the carport garage area. Um, this is the boat we're looking now from the other angle. Um, you can see the space for cars. This is a this is a Wendy house. Um, one of the four, but it's got a nice sliding door. And then this garage has been converted into an office, which could also be easily become a flat. So you can see it's nice and spacious. It's neatly tiled, um, and then it's got a kitchenette. So this kitchen area over here, um, not currently used as a kitchen, but if you look at that steel door there to the left of that is, um, is where the outside toilet and shower is. So that's why I said easy to convert into a flat. And then you've got your solar panels um, on the roof, which you probably see from the drone footage. Um, and it comes through, yeah, there's four batteries. And uh, I understand it lasts for seven hours um, when there's no electricity um, at night after the, sun, after the sun has gone down. So, I mean, that basically lasts the whole night. Um, I think the pumps are not included, but everything else... And then you've got your gas, your gas um, hob and stuff. Now that you've seen this property, why don't you phone me and uh, I'll show you in real life. Thanks for watching. Thank you.